I want to show you the thing actually working so we can kind of learn together. The uh, snap-on and the coken. So I just I, I thought I'll do a quick little thing. This is easy, you know, take off a spark plug, put it back on, take it back off, put it back on. It, and this happens to be easy to get to. The coken is clearly longer, just a little bit. And the handle is quite a lot larger. That's a lot of extra handle. You know, this seems small. I don't know who they think they're making this for. Children working on cars or something? The knurling alone is, is, is amazing. Uh, difference compared to a smooth handle. Koken makes three versions of this. They make a smooth handle, similar to the snap-on. They have a comfort grip, similar to snap-on. And then they have this knurled handle, which I don't know anybody who makes one like that now. By the way, I don't know if I just said it or not, this uh, rough... Uh it almost looks like a thumb wheel spinner, but it's not. It's just so you can change the direction. See? Yeah, if I put a little weight there, and then my finger can rest against the socket or whatever's there, now it's easy to switch it back and forth. I'm going to do a quick unboxing, but I'm not a fan of how people normally do the unboxing and the review. And all they did is take it out of the box. The, the, the biggest thing was using the knife to cut the box open. That's what they should really be reviewing is the knife. So I'm not going to do all that. Here's, here's what I got. There you go. Uh, thank you card. That's nice. Our tools are pretty great. Okay, good, good. That's what I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Made in Japan. Okay, righteous. No, and you get one of these. Nice. Oh no! So this is empty. No big deal. Uh, I got one of these. I got one of these. I got. Luckily it's all steel, so it's not going to hurt it. So what I got was uh, 227, no, sorry, 2771Z, which is a universal joint swivel. This here. And the other one is 3322AZ75, which is this um, sort of an extension, but one end is 3 quarters, 3 eighths, 3 quarters. One end is 3 eighths, and it tapers down to a quarter inch drive. So in other words, this drive will fit into this smaller universal. And this, and this was a comfort, I mean, <laughs> this is a comfort nut grabber. That might need to be on a different fan page altogether. <laughs> Not the comfort nut grabber. It might sell more though, but it's a great title. <laughs> this is a uh, nut grabber quarter inch. Socket set is seven, eight, nine, is seven, eight, ten, skips nine, uh, the skips eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, skip nine and eleven, is between seven and twelve, not uh, fourteen. I know I need ten right now for something that's coming up. I'm going to try to use these tools later on on the proper job, but I will use this for something. And what is this, you might ask? This is a 3776N. For those of you who are fluent in the token, know that that means one of these. I'm kind of a fan of roto head ratchets. But this feels very light in the back dragging environment. Looks like it's put together as a spring clip here. Kind of noisy. I don't know if you can hear that. It's kind of loud. So it sounds like it might, it could use some grease, although it probably has some. So 
Roto head, his stiffness here is kind of tight, but of course you have an Allen key here, Allen wrench, hexagonal, to uh, loosen or tighten that up if you need, whatever, either way. So that's not a big deal. I I'm loving this neural grip. And, and so instead of just making this a, you know, look what I got, and that's my review, which is, to me is bullshit, I'm actually gonna, we're gonna take these inside and uh, compare it to my uh, Snap-on roto head, which is an F, NF100, so it's 100 tooth. According to the website, this is 45, so it's less than half. But let's see how they, how they fare, and, you know, compared to each other. But we'll, we'll go inside, I just got the flu shot, so I'm feeling a little rough. But, you know, that's normal. That's how it's supposed to be. You know, it's been like that for decades. That's got nothing to do with COVID or vaccine bullshit, by the way. One thing I'll say is the uh, snap-on is, is much thinner. The, the whole of the head, the whole of the ratchet itself, the, the button is just a little bit proud of the yoke here, the fork. Sticks out a tiny bit. And, of course, the anvil sticks out. But on the uh, Koken, the switch to, to go left and right is quite high, higher than this, the, the TriStar here of this switch. Um, and of course the anvil itself sticks out, but there's also a little bit extra sticking, a platform kind of sticking up and then the anvil where the uh, snap-on, the, the platform that it comes out of is the same height as the rest of the ratchet, only the anvil sticking up. So if you're trying to reach in someplace, you know, for, for clearance, you'll have more room here. This may end up interfering somehow, who knows, uh, because it is actually fatter. It is fatter left to right. I mean, top to bottom, let's say. And left to right, I think it's about the same. Now that I mention it, I don't feel like there's that much difference. You can see the, the coking is actually longer. If you line up the axles here, the, where the ratchet is, you can see this, this part is lower, is longer compared to here. The handle is longer, maybe, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, almost an inch. Just guessing. These are both three eighths. I'd say the, uh, the cut here to, to create the roto head fork. It, it almost looks like the coking is a little bit thinner, but I'm not sure. Uh, both of them, sometimes on this cut, cut edge, this, this line, the groove that they slice here into the, into the sh uh, handle is sharp on certain ones I've felt it. You can ride your, you can slide your finger, your thumb over it, and you can feel a sharp edge there. Neither one of these is like that. These are both smooth. Both of these companies, they, they, they take care of that. They don't, they don't let sharp edges out. Right now, like I said before, I, I hate these, you know, reviews, bullshit, where they uh, just open it up and it's shiny, and, uh, and that's the review. Isn't it wonderful? I don't even know what I'm talking about because I never, never even used it yet. I'm just going to take on and off this socket, I mean this uh, spark plug, because it's so easy. So it's convenient. This is an awesome motorcycle, by the way. <laughs> That's a sidebar. Um, so I'm using my old Craftsman 3, 13 sixteenths. It's my father's uh, socket, actually, uh, part of his tool set that he got back in the 60s, probably went before I was born, actually. No extensions, no spinners, or whatever extra stuff. Uh, just to see, you know, the, the thing on its own. Uh, this goes on, so let's see how this goes. And I have a torque wrench right, so I can torque it back up and then try it again with the other side, with the other uh, ratchet, the snap one. So this is the coke in. Actually, yeah, I don't need these. I'm, I mean, I kind of bundled up in a little extra sweatshirt for the for the flu shot, but I need more grip here. Okay. And then the, the whole point of this was now we're going to do the, the ratcheting 
roto head style, right? So let's see how that looks. You know, you can see it going back and forth because of the the facets on the end of the spark plug. But the the back drag is allowing it to still make progress. The 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 light back drag on this um, token is still t actually so far it's been good. If it's almost off, it's almost off. But it's hard to believe it got off that fast. Look at this. Feels very floppy though. Now normally you wouldn't do this. You would hold on to it, or if it's on an extension, you're you're you know you're holding. The extension with one hand or the other, and you're and you're doing it. I'm just doing it as a back drag test for the coke in here, versus the snap on. So it's still trying to work. It actually came all the way off. So it unscrewed completely. That looks kind of dirty. Still trying to put that, replace these. Once I get around, to, once I get this job done, then I'll put, put it back on. So now this is on, uh, is it on on? I think, yeah. So it's barely on, and it's not really enough drag. The, the resistance of the part, I should say, is not strong enough to overcome the back drag, even of the token. So it's just going back and forth. Now, as it slowly gains a little traction, it, it, the next step is a little bit better, because as it gets tighter, of course, um, then the back, then the resistance of the part you know, over, starts to overcome the, the back drag. So you know now we're, we're losing ground. It starts to unscrew, but then you get a few clicks out of it, and then it advances a little bit. So it is working. It's just slow. And once it was in decently, I, I wouldn't do it like this. I wouldn't even take it out like this. No, that's it. It was at the end. So it got all the way to the bottom. It's not going to turn anymore. The way I would take it out would be like once you broke it free, you know, on a roto head, using a roto head and this kind of thing. It's just it's like you're starting a fire, and you can get a lot more spins out of it, way faster. Okay, we're putting it back, and you can do like I just showed you. You know, you're you're winding it in, you're gaining a little traction. You could hold it and then keep turning it but I would if you have the room I would just try to crank it in like this like you're starting a fire and done it's that fast uh, so that's what I would do and I actually have a small snap on I'm gonna try to I should I should try that too but we'll do the regular rotor head first first we got to uh, I'm gonna use my stuff it was small Torque wrench. This is an adapter. This is actually a, a quarter inch head with the three eighths, of course. I need an adapter. I like these little adapters because they don't uh, take up a lot of space. Instead of being a short extension and then the step and etc., this keeps the, all the action straight on the anvil. It's not on the extension. It seems stronger to me. Uh, by the way, these come in a triple pack. I believe you can buy them actually individually, but uh, I bought the triple pack. I don't know if I'm going to use that one. This is three. This is half inch to three quarter. This is um, three eighths to half inch, and this is uh, what I've been using, which is one quarter to three eighths. Uh, here's the part number for you, if you're interested. Again, this is for the three pack, and I'm pretty sure you can buy them individually if you just want one. Or let's say you got the three pack, you lost one, you want to get another one, or you need, you know, more three eighths to half inch. You don't need another three quarter, so you want to get three or four of those for different ratchets, but you don't need another giant one. So then why buy a whole, th you know, three, 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 uh, more sets of three? You just need, you know, four of these and two of these and one of these is enough. But I didn't do that. I just bought the, the, I bought two of these packs actually, so I do have <laughs> extra. I n I don't even have a three inch drive, so I um, I don't see how I'm going to use that anytime soon. But these I do. Those are very handy. 
And also because of uh, it's a flange that fits over the basically a flange uh, sort of a top hat thing that fits over the um, drive. You end up with like a little spinner wheel type of action here, which is kind of nice. Just a little round edge sticks out. So that's good. Anyways, if you're, if you're interested, there it is. I like these because it's, it's sort of weird. Like this, this seems crooked. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. I doubt it. I, I think it's just, you know, something's loose inside. But I'm sure it's got the same tent torque, torque rating. I'm not worried about that. And the actual part number here is uh, three, I mean, seven three zero slash five quick. And I don't know what uh, five zero eighteen forty zero five means. But I, I have another head there that's actually a half inch head, but I didn't use it. This was a quarter inch head. So that's the official part numbers and stuff. Anyway, um, I like that this is simple. You don't you don't have to twist anything and, and look at the thing. Uh, that's why I like my other snap-ons that are um, the same way. It's with the dial on the side, this the split beam. This is a, a similar version of that, I believe. And um, you slide the scale, but the scale is locked right now. Inside the end is a tab, which you push down to release this. And it's also got a magnifier, which I really like, so that the small scale is actually helps easier to read. So we want it at, uh, whoops, 25 Newton meters, which is like 16 or something like that, uh, Newton pounds, I mean uh, foot pounds. That's it. That close. So then, let's get to it. Easy. Don't fall. <laughs> and uh, the uh, snap-on. You know, uh, there's no 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 introduction needed. I don't think this is the F100F. So this is the latest and greatest here in uh, November of 2022. Put it over here. This is what I like about the roto heads. You can you know move it to whatever. Air, Whatever is convenient for, for the surroundings. You know, in other words, if you're over here, oh, now I'm hitting this. Well, you can move it over here and, and move it to this side of the, of the obstruction. That kind of thing. That's what I really like about them. Compared to a flex head, you'd be like, oh, well, I can't go all the way over there. So i got to take it off and, and, you know, then put it back on over here. Or whatever. So these are like little details that add up to conveniences of, of how to get it to work. Get your tools to work in general. It doesn't have to be this screwdriver. You know, little details make it one better than the other. So let's try to get this off now. That's 25 foot pounds. That wasn't too bad. It is shorter, but it's not too bad. And you can see here the back drag test again. Uh, you know. Uh, Fresh screwdriver, uh, fresh, um, fresh spark plug. You know, the engine is a working engine. Nothing's rusty. Nothing's uh, old. So these are well lubricated, basically clean parts. And you can see that the back drag is um, way too strong for this. It's just going back and forth. It's not making any progress. Now, to compensate for that, like let's pretend you didn't have a choice. See, I, this is the tool I got, I have to make it work. Of course you could by hand crank it out, or you, of course you would hold it and turn it, you know, like, like any kind of an extension or whatever, anybody would do that. I'm just testing the back drag here. I'm not trying to say it doesn't work. <laughs> of course it works. It's, I'm not doing it right here. I'm just, because I'm only relying on the back drag or, or the lighter back drag to overcome the resistance of the part. But in this case, it can't do it. Uh, it's still trying. It's getting a click or two here and there, but it's nowhere near the other one where it had completely come out. This is just going back and forth. It's not making any progress at all. So you could try to overcome that with whipping it back by whipping it past. Oh, there it goes. It did come out. So 
by whipping it past the, the over, you're overcoming now the, the back drag of the, of the tool, and it still works. So you can still do that same technique. It'll, it'll work. Let's see if I can get this in. This one goes in a lot easier because this tool is a little lighter. This, this uh, snap on is a little bit lighter. Put that on. on. And then, same thing. And I'm going to just ratchet it on. Uh, torque it again. Twenty five. And uh, while I'm here, let me try the. Uh, I, I only have this in a quarter drive. So. But it's got the handle, is what I'm trying to say. So this is a definitive handle. This is a definitive handle. These handles suit these, these tools, in my opinion, much better than something like this, where it's smooth. It, when a smooth handle like this, this is the same handle they put on a breaker bar. This is the same handle that they put on a uh, uh, pry bar. <laughs> This is the same handle they put on everything. Any ratchet, flex head, doesn't matter, roto head, any, anything, it's the same exact handle. Pry bar, breaker bar, ratchet. And that's fine for probably most tools. In general, I like the shape of the handle, although I think it's kind of small. Like compared to this, this fills up the hand. Whereas this one, it feels like, you know, it's really only the last, it's like three fingers. And then my, my, the, my two main fingers, my, my thumb and my index, are up here on this, uh, you know, that's up here on the shaft where there's nothing to hold on to at all. Uh, compared to this, you know, this is more screwdriver shape and size in this case. And that, that's conducive to, you know, being a, a handle to do something with, with this driver idea, being able to use it as a driver. Now this might be harder. I mean, not not might be. This will definitely be harder. I'm trying to get this off with this tiny little thing. But let's pretend you're on your motorcycle and you do have a small tool kit. Um, you're going to have small tools. You're not going to walk around with you know half inch ratchet probably. My guess is. So can you do this? Can you take off your spark plug with the small ratchet like this? Let's find out. I mean, I know you can. <laughs> the question is, is it, you know, almost impossible or it's actually a lot easier than you think? You have to get right on it. Yeah, you can. It's not that bad. And now here we see again the uh, back drag versus the resistance of the part. Again, this is a you know clean, normal uh, spark plug. The engine's working, functioning, and there's nothing rusted together. It's not a junkyard that's been sitting in a junkyard find that's been sitting around, or a barn find that's been sitting around for 30 years. And this is this actually has less teeth. There, it's finally. No, it's still trying, still trying. Again, you would normally hold it. I know, obviously. No, it came out. It did work. So this older ratchet, which is the, what part is that? Let me tell you. It's, I know it's a T. Uh, I'm going to guess T-N-Y-R-A-T-S-H-T. <laughs> Something like that. No, maybe not. T-M-7-3-7? Seven? That's what I think it is. But it's not, you know, it's not a fine, technically fine. It's a 70 tooth or something like this. Uh, the the uh, snap, the big snap on is 100 tooth. That's the latest and greatest I got. Uh, one, one thumb switching, no problem. 
Now, when, and now this one, if I do this, it's actually, the shape of this handle is actually a little bit better. The reason this is better is be, for this job, for, for trying to do it like you're starting a fire, crank really spinning it in there. Because of the way this flares out, your hand sort of stays there. On the uh, Koken, where it's just a tube, even though it's got the knurls, you, you eventually kind of start to slide, your hand is sliding down as you're, as you're spinning it between your, your hands. This kind of gives it a little stop, and it just sort of stays there, which makes it, you know, a little bit better, a little bit easier, I should say. There it goes. Don't stop, says that. So this job is not a big job. Um, and all three of them can do it. No problem. No problem at all. All three can easily do this job. So they're all very capable, very competent, very nice tools. Now, by the way, this is this is uh, none of them have quick release. First of all, just get that out of the way. And this red light, this red uh, circle, doesn't do anything. It's not a button or anything like that. All it is is showing you an arrow towards. You can't see it, but very small you know, letters here, left L and R, left and right. Uh, the, this red circle, I believe, is plastic. I'm 99% sure. This black outside area, I do not think is plastic. I think it might be metal. If you want, I'm going to take it apart. I was going to lube these anyway. So I can take this apart at the same time. We can compare the insides. I'll do that in another video if I get enough comments or feedback or, or any comment or feedback. Uh, and then that'll be another video. I don't want to do it here. It's too much in one video. Um, yeah, so... Let me quick show you the, the comparison of the normal flex head. Let's see how much battery I got. Half done. Halfway cooked. So, for example, these are all 3 8 here. You know, here's, a, here's your flex head. Here's your typical flex head. It's non-locking. It's just the old-fashioned flex head. I, this is like one of my first original tools I bought back in the 90s. Uh, so if I'm trying to get it on the fastener or I'm trying to get the, the socket, the uh, ratchet on the socket, if I want to push it onto the socket, you, you can see how, how, how it's, um, like it's, one, it's pushing here. I need it to push up here. So I, there's no, I don't know if there's any way I can really push it hard enough without breaking anything or, or you know, really putting a lot of extra unnecessary force. Compared, if I want this to mount, I can push it on like that because the force is going into the anvil, not into the hinge. Here, if you're going to use these as a normal, as a normal ratchet, any of these handles will be fine. You don't need to have a special neural handle. It's nice, but it's not necessary. Um, if you're going to do a roto head all the way up where you're going to try to use it as a driver, then this kind of handle suddenly becomes like 10 times more valuable. If this had knurling here, it would probably be about 30 to 40% more valuable, more useful, which this one is. Then again, if you have more heavy duty work or this is your only tool and it can't fail, not just for delicate work, but you know, you're taking off wheels. Or, or whatever, something more rusty and, and tough to do, this should be able to hold up to it. It's gnarly. Now, this should too. I'm not saying this won't. I'm just saying this feels beefier. feels heavier. And this knurled handle, again, you know, comfort grips might be nice, but if you get the whole thing covered in grease and oil and whatever because you're doing something, um, I don't know. You clean that however you clean that. If, this, if, if I had the same thing happen to me and I had a handle like this or like this, all I would do is spray it down with brake clean, you know, or dip it in the brake clean or whatever, you, or solvents. It's solid steel. It's not going anywhere. Now, this is actually a solid bar that I believe is machined down to this handle shape, which, again, I said I like the shape. Uh, they've had this thing for, you know, literally a century. I, I, it's fine. I'm fine with this overall shape. I don't like that it's too short. 
to me, kind of on the short side. This is the more normal size grip. Having a knurled steel handle is excellent. Uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's gonna get more dirt in there, but it's also, you know, you spray with brake clean, it's, it's steel. It's not gonna hurt it. Uh, I believe this is actually a separate piece machined and that somehow, whether one or two or, or three parts, probably one part that's been machined and knurled, and then it's welded here to the separate steel bar, which is modified to, you know, be a roto head. Very good. I mean, it's all one piece now, but they took the extra time to do this in two pieces. So anyway, that's my quick uh, ish <laughs> fever dream of a uh, review for these things. And um, like I said, we got the shot. Where's that? Oh, see, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Totally getting delusional. Did I did I type that down? Let me let me torque it one more time. Make sure I got it. I think I forgot. I, the, the the vaccine might be kicking in. But like I said, that's just um, getting sore, getting a little cranky, getting a little stiff. That's part of the game. That's what you want. You want your body to react because you know, thank you. because it's uh, it's like military intelligence. The, the vaccine is like military intelligence for your body. So it's not political. I don't care what people are trying to do. It works on the polio, measles, you know, yellow fever, black death, scarlet fever, Saturday night fever. <laughs> it's all good. Blue meanies. Uh, it's just a training exercise for your immune system. It's, it's, not, it's, not, a, it's not supposed to be an uh, IQ test. Um, Anyway, I'm not trying to get preachy. I'm just trying to be honest. Just trying to be honest with you about the tools, about the, and including vaccines, which are tools. Hope you enjoyed that story. <laughs> I didn't want to leave you hanging as far as what's going on with the, with the vaccine story. Yeah, it's just your body getting ready for battle, which is what you want. So if, some, if the bastard comes back for real... You're on guard. You're already prepped. Anyway, if you like any of that, if you like roto heads in general, please leave a comment. And uh, if this was helpful, great. Give me a thumbs up. Help other people. Ugh. So, have have yourself a happy Thanksgiving and uh, holidays and New Year's and whatever you do. If I don't get to talk to you sooner. Anyway, thanks for listening. I feel a lot better now. And uh, I'm going to go see if I can edit this thing. What else do I got here? Talk to you later. <laughs>